Uh, we come for a, a day out around Lady Bell Reservoir, and uh, this is a massive bell weir. It's huge. And it makes you feel really, really sick. It makes you feel like it's trying to drag you into it. It's amazing. We've got the male and the female, the female being the red flower and the male being the captain. Yeah. And the hazel. First sign of spring. Got there's, some frogs there's, the, for. there's the frog. Do you see him in the mud? He's settled in the bottom of the puddle. Do you see him? And there's another one. Just there. Wow. Right. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, it's wet, but hey ho, it's the Peak District. But I've uh, got a question for you, got a question. Uh, trees behind me in the distance. You don't have to be very, very close to trees to um, be able to figure out what they are. Um, once you start getting the recognition of the shapes and how they grow. So have a look at the trees behind me, have a little bit of a guess, see what they are. Figured it out yet? That's larch. It's the only deciduous pine that grows in the UK. Okay, that means it loses its leaves um, in the winter time. But I didn't, I didn't spot that because of you know it's obviously there's no leaves on there. But if you have a look just above my head, if you have a look at the way that the uh, the tree just kinks off at the side, and that's characteristic of larch. That is, they uh, they have a tendency to kink off as they they going up to the top. And uh, I teach things through association, so uh, I just always think larch, it lurches, so it lurches off at the top. Uh, from a bushcraft point of view, oh, the other thing I suppose is larch, and um, think lots as well, it also has loads and loads of cones on it, um, so larch and lots. But um, from a bushcraft point of view, um, great use for um, cordage. Um, it's a very, very rough cordage, um, but what we're looking for is to take the, um, the branches and twisting the branches together. So uh, it'll make a very, very coarse rope, but it is very, very strong. Got is a grouse. There she goes. Never try stalking in waterproof trousers. Yeah, I've got you. put ourselves up against the wall.
making them sing to us. Come on. Come on then. That's it. Stay. Stay there. Stay back. No, I don't want to disturb them. says that you can't take a dog stalking. Oh you do, don't talk to Sounds like Kev at the park when it went out of beer. <laughs> okay, so uh, just um, just wandering down the track. Um, we got down here. This is my footprint as my heel reached here, and then as you can see, the sliding action going off in this direction because this little fella just had the luckiest escape of his life, I think. Hey, you got bingo. <laughs> no grackuses. <laughs> well, a great day out. Um, nice to have a day off, but uh, it's back down to the ground stone again now. So uh, we got to get ready um, tonight for the outdoor show at the NEC, and uh, we'll be travelling down there tomorrow and uh, getting all the stalls set up and meeting the guys from the Bushcraft magazine there. And um, it'll be a busy weekend, hopefully uh, sell some kit and sell some courses. So uh, here we go again. Mm -hmm. 